I have to start at the very beginning of this Thursday episode of the Centering John podcast because, all right, he's, he's chugging water. He doesn't have to turn on his camera and then chug water. He could chug the water and then turn his camera on, but he can't get that figured out. And then look at his polo shirt, everybody. <laughs> Yeah, baby! Welcome to the world-famous Stuttering John podcast with your favorite world-famous host, Stuttering John Melendez. How are you, everybody? All right. So his shirt is inside out. (laughs) You can see the buttons are on the wrong side. His polo shirt is inside out. This fucking guy can knock it out of his own way. He's He's a treat. He, is. he really is amazing. Mm. All right, so then he realizes it. And this is funny. Uh, <laughs> this is funny because he realizes it and he decides, oh, I'm not going to acknowledge it. I'll just, I'll just play it off. Today we have Brian Karam, who uh, I hope is deep into the sauce. He's trying to button it. He's trying to button it. Where's the button? Where's the button? Yeah, he's Where's always the a hell of a lot of fun. Oh, oops. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Where's the button? Where's the button? <laughs> He's wearing a blouse. It's on the other side. It's a blouse. Jesus. The thing I love the most is the visual here because Carl right behind you is almost the exact same screenshot as what we're looking at. Right now. Yeah, I know. I know that that drawing is. It's, it might be a photograph now that I think about yeah. it. I'm not even sure that is <laughs> art. It's oh, amazing. Um, I love that look. Something is amiss. <laughs> Did you hear him too say he's, he's bringing his guest on? He hopes he's deep into the sauce. I didn't understand that at all. I don't, I don't understand that. Okay. So um, real quick, we'll get back to the shirt thing. But um, we have to remember that this is Super Cast or Super Chat Thursday. Uh, Super Chat Thursday. Thank you, Andrea. That is true. It is Super Chat Thursday. So he has Super Chat Tuesday, Super Chat Thursday, and Super Chat Saturday. I'm starting to think that that doesn't have any significance at all. It's like, well, that is true. It is Super Chat <laughs> yes. Thursday. And by the way, all of this month is Give Me Your Money October. <laughs> and we only have a few more days before it's Donate to Me November. Yeah. So, guys, please get on my Patreon. <laughs> get on my PayPal. Goal. Make that goal. <laughs> <laughs> Super I Chat Thursday. I can't unsee the Inside Out shirt now. Oh, it's fucking amazing. Just like looking at it, like all the, all the seams and everything yep. that are all sticking out. <laughs> yep. I know. It, um. <sighs> We're going to be down in uh, Florida next weekend at the Content House with Chrissy Mayer and company. And I guess there's going to be like a costume thing going on. Uh I'm not a big costume guy, (laughs) as you know. Ooh, bring the roach costume. Well, my wife is going to dress up as Sexy Stuttering John. She's already ordered that shirt. She's going to wear it inside out. (laughs) (laughs) Sexy Stunt Joe. I'm sorry if I revealed your big secret, but that's going to be, that's a pretty funny idea. I like it. All right, this is uh, neither here nor there, just John being an idiot. So John's talking about the Yankees, and they're in the playoffs. He's all excited, and someone says they're going to choke, and and John's got to come back for that. The Yankees choke like they always do. Uh, Let's see, uh, 27 world championships. Doesn't sound like choking to me. Six in my lifetime. All right. They've won seven in his lifetime. He was born in 1965. Mm-hmm. He's 57 years old. They've won seven World I know how many World Series the Cubs have won in my lifetime, maybe because the number is one. <laughs> but still, I would think that he would know it's seven, not six. Yeah. And he's trying to be all smug. Yeah, he's like, yeah. oh, they're the best fucking team ever. They've won six in the last 57 years. Like, no, they've won seven, John. So, was he sleeping during one of them? Did he black out that day? I don't know. It's, anything's possible, but fucking idiot. All right, so then Jules David who is uh, Mike David Redbar's wife, but this is not the real Jules David. This is someone trolling John, pretending to be Jules David, which is why John was trying to message Mike David over Instagram to try to get him on his side to go after Anthony Cumia. And then Mike David went on his show and went, John, you're a fucking retard. I'm not talking to you. Are you crazy? So, you know, everyone's 
Everyone's making points at John. Everyone's hitting threes at this guy. So this is Jules David uh, pointing out that his shirt is inside out. Jules David. Yeah, I know. That's the new look. Uh, <laughs> so he, his, his instincts are always wrong. You know, so she goes, your shirt's inside. He goes, yeah, no, I did that on purpose. But no, but seriously, though, he wasn't like laughing it off. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, all the kids are doing that. Everyone's peeing their pants. It's the coolest. You know, it's like, John, (laughs) what the fuck is wrong with you? I had to turn it inside. I had cum on the front of it. (laughs) So now this is great because John brings on his guest. And, you know, it starts with the, uh, uh, he's reading the chat. He's getting confused. He brings out his guest, and what he decides he's going to do, he's got a strategy. He's going to turn off his screen while his guest is on, pull his shirt off, put it on the right way, put it back on. No one's going to notice. It's going to be seamless. The problem is he forgot to ask his guest a question that he could respond to <laughs> so that the guest was talking during this. So the guest is just standing there like, what, what just happened? What, what, what is going on right now? Uh... And uh, and there we go. Um, okay. Action. Now, without further ado, let's bring on the man. When I was in New York, I rebooted my computer twice on stage. He's like rebooting his brain. Like he's like, oh, I'm just gonna do a restart. Give me a second. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's his meditation. I didn't. Your system started because there was a problem. Do you want to report it? Uh, no. Uh, I, I did not save my six terabyte backups. <laughs> to the cloud. Let's bring on the man, the myth, the legend. Here he is, Brian J. Caram on the show today. Hey, Brian. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> So John brings on Brian, immediately takes him off the screen because he hit the wrong button. So now it's just John. So he, then he brings him back. What's going on, bro? Nothing much. How you doing? And now John is gone. Yep. What's going on, bro? And then he leaves. And now watch as Brian tries to figure out what to do here. He's just like, uh, all right, the guy hosting the you show there? is gone. Should I have not called him bro? <laughs> yeah, why did I find him? Was it the, my green hat? Is that what offended him? <laughs> John's like, oh my God, a real leprechaun. <laughs> Give me your gold. <laughs> Give me your gold. Answer to all my money problems. <laughs> uh, holy shit. Oh, there we go. <laughs> hey, how you doing, Brian? <laughs> well, yeah, I lost you there, it seems like. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Something, I don't know. This shit always goes weird on me. You're a liar. You're a liar. You know something that you're not telling us, you slimy scumbag liar. John tries to play it off like, oh, yeah, technical problems. You know what happens. Meanwhile, he comes back. His shirt is now the right way, but it's all disheveled. It's all over yeah. the place. He must. I would have loved to have seen it. It's like, oh, shit. <laughs> 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 <I know. laughs> must have been fucking hilarious. And then he just fucking lies. Oh, yeah, I don't know what happened. It's just, you know, what are you going to do? So now we're 12 minutes into the show at this point. And John finally buttons his shirt up. It's what he's been wanting to do from the get-go. That's what he was trying to do when he realized, like, oh, shit. Brian, why aren't we Why aren't we searching those places? Well, maybe search warrants will be coming for them shortly. But he can't really decide whether or not. I mean, if there's a subpoena, there's a subpoena, and he'll have to live with it. The fucking so voice. Donald Trump can claim he can win it all he wants, but he has absolutely no voice in that. You did it, Johnny. I knew you could. I knew you could do it. <laughs> what an oh. idiot. <laughs> All right. What this fuck is this dude like putting glasses and hats and shit on? What's... <laughs> yeah, I know. That's his he's, thing. He's going over visual gags. This is, a, this is the guy we were talking about in New York, too, because yeah. he was on his show just last week. And every time that John was doing something embarrassing, this guy was putting on his sunglasses like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I don't want to be seen with this <laughs> asshole. This is not good. <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> All right, so now here's another example of John not paying attention to his guest. And he does this all the time. The guest is talking. John's fucking with his shirt. He's getting a a drink of uh, water. If there's a subpoena and the judge issues it, they'll search. (laughs) And good luck to Donald. 
He'll need it. What do you think's going on in Donald Trump's head right now? I don't know. Have you ever seen a BB rattle around inside of tin can? <laughs> what the fuck is this? Uh, <laughs> Kevin, it's the, the worst political show anyone's <laughs> ever made. And I'm including like sixth grade UN and whatever the fuck they're doing in elementary schools right now. <laughs> this is insane what these people are doing. And look, I'm not on Trump's side, but what is going on in Donald's head right now? He's not thinking about you. You're thinking about him. So that's one thing. Who's dumber, the billionaire who is the president or the YouTuber who makes $600 a month and had to take all of his videos down because everyone on the internet is clowning him right now. Every video, this video included, is gone. As soon as he gets done recording it, it's gone. You can't find it. He has deleted every, not deleted, probably unlisted, every single YouTube video. He's a joke. <laughs> he can't operate a shirt. <laughs> he can't operate a shirt. Yeah. And he's like, God, that Donald Trump guy is such an idiot. Yeah. Like, well, I don't know if you should be the one saying that, sir. Because listen to this. I, don't, I, I hate getting into the po- political parts of these shows, Kevin. But listen to the analysis of a recent debate that John didn't watch but saw the clips from that some other – I think it was the Lincoln Project or one of these like very left-leaning organizations that puts out propaganda videos. They put together clips to make it look like Rubio lost the debate, and this is John's analysis of it. I think now, I got to tell you, Brian, I watched, I don't know if you got to see any of the clips from the Val Demings, uh, uh, the Rubio and Demings fucking debate. She fucking ate him alive. Well, did you expect anything different? Right. Oh my god! Did, did you see the debate? It's, it's she won. Like... Yeah, I know. That's the that's the team I root for. Of course, of course, she won. Yeah. <laughs> good, good stuff, guys. Is there <laughs> a reason like why? That. Was there an issue that she had a better idea <laughs> on? Was there anything that she said that you liked? Or she wiped the floor with them? Yeah, <laughs> sure did. I mean, who's who? The fuck is watching this show? For content wise, I often forget that it's a political show. I know. I forget that's the format because no one ever pulls these parts oh, of the show. It's right. Simple. We never get there. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> so, again, remember, John did this with this guy just last week. Again, he talks about how Rubio tweets out Bible verses, and John responds with his own Confucius responses to this. And again, John's proud of himself for the tweet that he put out. Well, I love. The fact that she called him out for his, his Bible verses. I don't know if you see those fucking things he tweets out. It's like, it's hysterical to me. <laughs> and I always tweet back at him. Uh, Confucius say, man who fought in church sits in his own pew. And I just yeah. like. <laughs> so John, again, is proud of his tweet. And think about this. this is, again, it's something he did not even write. Yeah. It's not funny. Brian's not reacting as if that was a funny thing to say. It's childish. But again, John is proud of himself for something that someone else wrote. I write back to these things that are all over the internet. He said he always tweets that back. Too. Yeah, like, right. Oh, wow. Good never one, gets John. Old. Wow. <laughs> Surprised uh, Rubio is even still a public figure. I, yeah. I would think he'd be like uh, hiding under his desk by now, you know? <laughs> oh, oh, shit. My God. You really got him good with that oh. one. <sighs> so I write back to him. Roses are red. Violets are blue. All right. So this is... Uh, <laughs> Uncle Paul, you know who Uncle Paul is, Kevin. He gets sure involved. Do. He gets involved in the chat here because John has not done a beer on the balcony in a couple of weeks now. This is what we pay for. This is the whole point of being a YouTube member or a Patreon member. Is you get the exclusive beer on the balcony. <laughs> Paul Hargis, thanks for the two bucks. When's the next beer on the balcony? You know, I I'm supposed to have a guest. I was going to do it today with Greg Prado. And then he had to talk to David Crosby. I mean, who is this guy? Crosby still gnashing. You know, I don't know. Who's that old guy over there? Uncle Paul, Uncle Paul. With the creepy old guy staring. Yeah. <laughs> Uncle Paul. This guy's responding to Uncle Paul as if it's a real person. Uncle Paul wants to know, where's the beer on the balcony? Sorry, Uncle Paul. We'll get to it. I, yeah, my, my guest had better people to talk to. You wanted to talk to uh, an actual celebrity instead of me, so. 
He had a bad Dorkles the clown wants to know. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get Dorkles in the, the chat. The fucking fictional people that he thinks are real. <laughs> the fan base is really expanding. We got Dorkles here. Yeah. <laughs> We got Dorkles. Doug Bell. We got the Fop guy. We got <laughs> Cobus Commanders here. I'd like to see how the Fop guy writes his questions to John. <laughs> Dear Stuttering John, oh, let, me, let me dip my pen in some ink here. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, this, this has to happen. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Just because of the way that John would read it back, all matter of fact. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, he'd be like, oh, uh, oh, I dip my pen in the ink. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, you know, they make pens with the ink already in them now. I don't know why you would. Okay. Uh, 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 why would you have a feather? <laughs> What's the feather for? Ooh. Confucius right. say that inside out shirts will hide the powdered wigs. All right, so John is, and this is the part that the dabblers don't pay attention to, that no one pays attention to. John is so good at running a talk show because if you think about how a talk show usually works, I, I watch a lot of talk shows. Uh, Bill Maher comes to mind, you know, and B- Bill Maher has a, a guest on. And they go back and forth. Yeah. And he asks a question, the guy answers, and maybe Bill Maher interjects with something, and they go back and forth, they have a discussion around it. This is John's style of interviewing someone. And yes, I did speed it up a few times here just so we could get through it. What's your thought about that? You see, John, that's when you could have changed your shirt. Yeah. <laughs> What's your thoughts on that? And that changed yeah, your shirt. You could have gone shopping. <laughs> he comes back. He's got a 12-pack of Coors. Yeah. And sets it down. Oh, Brian, you're still here. <laughs> uh, uh, and the sad thing is, is that John's getting all the super chats. Yeah. He provides none of the actual content, if you can call any of this content. Right. Provides none of it. He just lets his guests ramble on and on and on. Because John doesn't have a thought in his head. Anyone who was like a real talk show host would have interjected with something as this guy's going on and on. The, the question was about whether you think the Dems will lose the House and the Senate in the midterm elections. And this guy's going on and on and on. And if John was following politics like he should be, because that's his job now. It's not a good paying job, don't get me wrong, but he would have something to say in, in this at some point, and he doesn't. He sucks. I don't say this often enough. John sucks at his job. He's really bad at broadcasting. <laughs> All right. So uh, then you see the question here from Baby Yoda. Mm-hmm. Can you please leave episode your episode up so I can watch you after work? It's hard to watch live because of work, and I missed Tuesday's show because it was gone. Because like I said, John does the show live on YouTube, and then he unlists it and you can't get to it anymore even if you're a patreon subscriber we, we showed that on the last show where a patreon subscriber was going through their patreon feed and all the videos were gone you still have all these posts but you can't watch the video so it's kind of a ripoff and uh so john addresses this no and that's like well i'm gonna ask you about a few of these races baby yoda thanks for the five bucks john can you please leave episode up so i can watch after work it's too hard to watch live because we're working on tuesday show because it was gone Something's going on. Something's going on with my YouTube. I don't know what's going on, but I don't know about okay. you, but I have so many problems when it comes to YouTube. It's just like, just you know, I gotta, you know, I gotta figure out a different way. You're a liar. You're a liar. <laughs> you know something that you're not telling us, you slimy scumbag liar. John's lying. John is the one who's putting these shows and, and changing to unlisted because he's very upset that Shuli is dunking at him. Yeah. Over and over and over again. I mean, he's not a fan of myself either, but he is really upset about all the shows that are goofing at him now. And he makes it very clear. He tweets about it all the time, about how proud of it he is. 
If you're so proud of it, John, why is all your content gone from the internet? Yeah, he says <laughs> something's going on with my YouTube, like something's going on with my stomach. Like, right, yeah. You know, it's vague. I could right. never get to the bottom of it. Yeah, maybe it's my medication. Maybe <laughs> yeah. I need to sleep more. I mean, YouTube's just not working. Does that happen to you? <laughs> it's, you know what I mean, right? <laughs> it's my damn internet. It's my Xfinity, my Comcast. Yeah. It's <laughs> my neighbor's internet. All right, so this is um, this is interesting. <laughs> there, there was a big scoop that happened this week, and uh, I'm going to get into it a little bit here. Michael S. Thanks for the five bucks. Going skiing on the K2 Summit. I don't even know where that is. It's going to be That's filled a large fire. mountain, the K2, the second largest mountain in the world in the Himalayas. Wish me luck. Ready, set, build. I've heard a lot about it. Um, okay. So that person who just put that in there was Michael S. It has been discovered, Tony Michaels who forgets people's names all the time. Who's Anthony Cumia again? Didn't know who Chrissy Mayer was. What's her, what's her name again? Pretends he doesn't remember people's names. He didn't uh, know Kanye. <laughs> he didn't know who Ye was. Yeah. He might not know who he is mm. because his real name is not Tony Michaels. It's oh. Michael Anthony Sosnowski. And this is, you haven't heard about this yet? No. Okay. Muttering Jay. Go to his Twitter page. Okay. He's got the full expose on this, and it's amazing. The, the investigative journalism is going on, and it's because Tony or Michael, whatever the fuck your name is, you fucked with the wrong person. You see, and this is what Chad did, too. Chrissy Mayer is beloved. She's the queen of the dabblers. The dabblers just keep getting stronger and stronger every day. You cannot fight against the dabblers. There's too many of them. You are outnumbered. And so when you say shit and you're like, fuck Chrissy Mayer, fuck that ass. Oh, really? Fuck Chrissy Mayer? Oh, yeah, Chad? Oh, oh yeah? Oh, yeah, Tony Michaels? Well, the reason why that person wrote about the uh, K2 Summit and the Spice, apparently back when he was Michael Sosnowski, he was busted in a synthetic marijuana drug uh, dealing ring. Oh. That K2 shit. Oh, yeah. It's like, like bath salt or whatever it is, like really bad for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy who's like nugs, not drugs on his coffee mug, the whole wholesome like family guy guy was a drug dealer and was arrested for it. See, it, it's, it's fascinating to me because the people who yell the loudest on the internet have the most to hide. This guy's down there going, fuck him, <laughs> fuck you. I'm the fucking shit. You don't know shit about dicks. Like, well, I know more about your past than you want me to. <laughs> and now we all do, you fucking asshole. Yeah. And he also has this other business. There, there's, there's a lot more that I don't care as much about in there that that uh, Muttering Jay uncovered at Muttering Jay on Twitter. But it's fascinating. It is fascinating. I don't think um, our buddy Suttering John knows this yet. But it's not surprising to me that he associates himself with criminals no, who act no. like they're fucking better than everyone else. Yeah. Not surprising. No surprise there. At all. So. So the dabblers, they don't dabble. Dude, there's no dabbling going on by the dabblers themselves. They've actually got their shit together. Yeah. Which is really funny. This is, you know, once again, someone calls out John for lying. And John just keeps putting this shit up on the screen. But this one shows up for just one second. So this clip is the entire time you see this comment on the screen. Uh, well, oh. All right. John, are you claiming you didn't intentionally make your YouTube vids private? So that's a $5 Canadian, um, you know, uh, super chat. And John puts it up there and then immediately goes, oh, shit, got to get rid of that because he's lying. Yeah. He knows he's lying. It's obvious. We all know he's lying. It's very obvious. So I thought that was kind of funny. And then um, Jules David again, once again, is concerned about the fact that she's a YouTube member. And I just got to find my, uh, there it is. She's a YouTube member. And. She can't watch any of the YouTube videos. So if you pay five bucks a month on YouTube, Kevin, you should get mm -hmm. access to all of his videos, including his beer on the balcony. But apparently they're gone for even people who are paying him on YouTube. Jules did. Thanks for the five bucks. Yeah, I'm working on this. Something's with YouTube right now. I don't know what it's. You're a liar. You're a liar. <laughs> you know something that you're not telling us, you slimy scumbag liar. Yeah, John's a fucking liar. Fuck? <laughs> all right. But the good news uh, is he's going to make up for all these missed beer on the balconies. But I will, I'll make it up to all my Patreon people. I'll do two 
if I have to do two in one day, I'll be half in a bag by the second show, but it might be fun. Yes, I agree. It might be fun. Please do two beer on the balconies in one day. I'll be your guest. I don't give a shit. I'll kill an hour. That'd be fun. Let's do that. So looking oh forward to that. God. What a fucking train wreck. It's, it's, Kevin, oh. it's, it's been off the rails for a while, but it's still going somehow. It's like, what is even propelling this thing anymore? Yeah. How is this thing being propelled? Oh Lies. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing when it crashed, it was going downhill because it's just going and going and going. It's fucking amazing. <laughs> and, uh, oh my God, someone made a, a chicky McSpice Pringles uh, container. Oh, fuck Tony <laughs> Michaels. What an idiot. All right. This is the last clip I have from John's uh, recent episode on Thursday. And he, he ends the show by telling you you have to get out there and vote. And Kevin, you know how important voting is, obviously. But I sure do. This election, it's more important than ever. Uh, get out and vote. As Brian said, we have to go out and vote because everything depends on this. We ha- This is the most important election of our lifetime. What? The most important election of our lifetime? Is that even possibly true? What's he talking about? The midterms of <laughs> Joe Biden's presidency are the most important elections of our lifetime? I, I, guys, I might sleep at that this Tuesday. Is, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> My calendar's full. I don't know. I don't find this it to be more, even more important. Even more important of a vote than pick the new Mountain Dew flavor. <laughs> 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 